so here is a 1990 smoker craft 16 foot two inch fishing boat so right now guys it is so hot down here that car things are just like not very enjoyable right now so i went ahead and picked up this boat uh to do like a little summer project kind of like a refurb on this boat and um so i got this boat for 1500 bucks okay boat title trailer 50 horsepower yamaha <clears throat> really nice uh uh motor guide trolling motor with the foot pedal uh so this boat is a little rough okay as you can see it needs to be uh kind of refurbished which which is what we're going to do so to start off with uh one of the reasons i got this boat cheap is because the motor itself uh it was running really rough okay he started it up for me and he didn't really try to diagnose it or anything like that so i brought it home and did a compression test and we have good compression in the top two cylinders but uh the middle one only has 60 psi so these are 120 and this one here is like half so we have some issue um most likely uh, what happens with these motors is the oil injection sometimes fails, okay? And they run them without oil, and you usually like um, usually like stick a ring or score the cylinder or something like that, and you'll lose compression. So that's what I'm guessing this needs is just a rebuild kit. Uh, they're they're fairly inexpensive to rebuild. Uh, you can get a whole entire rebuild kit with pistons and everything for a little over 300 bucks. So, yeah, I mean, I took a chance on it, but, you know, like a 50 horsepower Yamaha two-stroke right now, if you were to buy one that online that was working well, you're looking at, you know, $2,500 for a working motor. So, you know, I got the whole entire boat for 1500 bucks. So, anyway, I'll go through it a little bit uh, <clears throat> and just kind of explain what's unique about these boats. I did a little research. This company, uh, I believe they're in Michigan. I'm not 100% sure. I think they're up, the, up in the north. So they're, these are really good boats, okay? They're very wide, which means they're very stable, uh, very wide beam. Uh, it's 16 feet, two inches long. This is the Magnum series. So in 1990, uh, the Magnum was one of their better models. Okay, it has these, the seats are actually in pretty decent shape. They're dirty, okay, but they're not ripped. Okay, they just have like uh, some mold and stuff like that. So I think I can clean these up, you know? So I think a lot of that's just cosmetic, you know? I mean, I just, I'm really surprised that there is no rips, actual rips in the seat. So yeah, uh, these boats are all aluminum. They have a little bit of wood now all this here like none of this is wood okay this is all aluminum all aluminum there even this wood colored stuff here is actually not wood it's aluminum okay it's all aluminum and so there's going to be minimal replacement of wood that has to be done to this even this here it looks kind of beat up but that's aluminum there uh, this piece here is wood so I'll have to get a strip of wood to fix that. You can see it's starting to rot out. But this just, you know, this mounts the, uh, the controls and all that. So the floor was a little soft and the previous owner tried to fix it. So we're going we're gonna to do something better there. Uh, I'll probably replace all the floor. I don't know if it's all bad or not, but I think I may just go ahead and replace it just to be safe. And it does have a in you know an, um, an internal tank, uh, but I don't know if I'm going to be using that or not. The guy actually tried to switch it up to premix because he thought that maybe the motor or the uh, injection pump went bad or something like that. So he wanted to try and run it on premix, but once it runs out of oil and it runs for a while, the damage is already done. So switching over to premix is not going to help you. So, uh, but I did hear it run and it, it goes in through the gears. Uh, it goes into reverse, all that. So the, the trim works. 
the tilt, the trim, all that works. Uh, there is the only other thing major with it is this side of the transom is a little soft. So I don't know what's behind this little strip here. So I'm gonna probably have to take this off, drill these rivets out and pull the motor. Look down in here, I may have to replace, you know, a piece of wood in here, which really not a big deal. Um, but anyway, uh, moving on to the trailer. The trailer is really nice. It's got roller bunks, okay? These are, and they're all in really good shape. The trailer has a little rust on it, but it's all surface rust which what we'll do is I'll get the boat, I'll put the boat on the ground or something, and um, we'll just go and repaint this whole trailer, sand it down and repaint it. That shouldn't be a big deal, uh, as long as there's nothing structurally wrong with it, which it doesn't look like. Um, even if there is, I mean, we can fix all this. You know, we have a welder, so <laughs> that's not a big deal. Uh, the bottom of the boat looks really good. There's no dents or anything. It's uh, very in very good shape. The guy told me that he had it in the water and it didn't leak, but you know, that's, I'm going off of what he said, so I don't really know, but, and it did have some electrical issues, which he tried to fix, but um, I'm not sure what all he was able to fix. Uh, even the panel, this panel's aluminum, uh, the steering all works good. There's no issues there. Uh, what else? Let's go inside the boat here. Yeah, these smoker crafts, I was actually looking online and they have some really cool features like locking um, storage for your, um, for your rods and reels and stuff like that. So these all lock and it's got like storage for it. Um, yeah, I mean, these are really well thought out boats. Um, I mean, and other than just being really dirty um, you know, it's in pretty good shape. It really needs a good cleaning. Um, so here's a, a nice live well. This here, I'm not sure how this works, but it has water in it and it has two holes in the hull on this side and on this side over here. And I'm assuming that there's some kind of a pump that pumps it from one side to the other to keep it constantly fresh. So yeah, here's a view from the top. Obviously it's really dirty. And from some of the pictures I saw online, um, there used to be, well, there's supposed to be, I shouldn't say there used to be, um, there's supposed to be a cover for all this and then another live well right here. So uh, I'm not gonna put another live well here. I think one live well is enough but I am gonna build like a little cover for all this and then like a battery housing and just, you know, something to cover all this. Uh, I've already been looking online for some car replacement carpet. So I'm gonna recarpet the entire boat. Yeah, just take everything off and start recarpeting it, cleaning it. Um, I'm not sure what's down below here. Um, I don't know, some kind of storage there too. It's got locking cabinets over here. Let's see what's in here. I never actually looked in this one. And you can actually lock it. I mean, you can see that this company that builds these boats really thought of everything. So you can lock your lock your rods and reels. Looks like this one's actually locked. I know it's not. Okay. Yeah, just more rod storage. So that actually needs to all be fixed because it's kind of falling off here. Like there's, there's not a lot of wood, but there is some wood and it's not rotten. It's just become detached. So we'll have to address that. And yeah, and then there's storage here or, you no, know, you know what? That's probably for a radio. Yeah, I'll bet you that's for a radio. So you can add a stereo there. Uh, what else? Yeah, up here. This has two storage lockers up here, and what I found was it's full of lures. Um, yeah, I mean, this is pretty cool um, to take all this out, basically gut the boat and just clean it really good. Some fuses. And a 
again, you can lock these things. So like if you have expensive lures or whatever, you can lock it. Um, it's got this. The uh, nothing's broke on the glass. Um, just the uh, the lock is broke here, but none of the glass is actually broke. And like I said, it's got a nice trolling motor. I don't know what these trolling motors cost, but I did grab my battery and try it out and it works great. So, and oh, here's another storage up here. Let's see what's in this one. Aha. So this, I'm, a, I'm assuming, goes up front here. Um, yeah, right here. There's a little spot for that. So, yeah, I'm finding out more new things here. And a spare blade for the... Uh, trolling motor, I'm guessing. And what else? I don't know what that is. Some kind of a lead weight here. Really heavy weight. Don't know what that's for. And close that back up. It's got lights here, but obviously it's not hooked up right now. Let's see what's under here. Some uh, white claw. I'm guessing this is probably for the... Uh, Probably for the uh, anchor, I'm guessing. So let me get this out of here. Yeah, probably for the anchor. So this is wood, but as you can see, this here, I don't know. I'm not sure if this deck here is wood or not, but there's no soft spots on this part, but it's mostly, everything is like aluminum. But yeah, I mean, Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, there's a lot of stuff here that for $1,500, like honestly guys in Florida right now, you can't even buy a John boat for 1500 bucks. Like, you know, boats are expensive in Florida. So this was a pretty good deal. The guy just didn't, didn't want to mess with the motor anymore. So I have not actually ever rebuilt an outboard, but I have rebuilt a lot of um, two stroke jet skis. So, I mean, the principle's all the same, you know. It, they're very simple engines. There's not a lot of moving parts. And, you know, it's, they're really not hard. So I, but, and, and the good thing is, I know it has spark. It just runs rough. And the reason it's running rough is because it has low, you know, uh, compression in one cylinder. So I think that's fixable. Um, and if not, I mean, I've seen these motors go on Facebook for over a thousand dollars not running and this one runs so yeah I mean uh, the controls work good I he went through all the controls everything works on it I don't know anything about these gauges if they work or not uh, it has a hummingbird uh, fish finder which I do not know if that works or not I don't see a reason why it wouldn't work and yeah I mean there's just very interesting boat. I really, I really like it. It's really good for around where I live. There's a, there's a ton of lakes. Okay. And this boat, I mean, with a 50 horse Yamaha, it should do over 30 miles an hour, I'm guessing. And okay. So yeah, I put the uh, little cover on it so you can see this is the Yamaha Pro 50. So this is a very, this is a good engine uh, as long as we can get this thing running. So that's probably, you know, in the next video, I'll probably start with that. So I wanna make sure I can get this thing running and working well without, you know, before I start tearing the boat apart and replacing a bunch of stuff. Even though I still think it's worth it, even if this motor is a complete loss, which I, I don't see how that could be in, uh, an issue. Um, I still think the boat's worth it. So yeah. So anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. Just wanted to show you guys the new project. And uh, yeah, like I said, like right now, it's just so hot. So this is gonna be a cool summer project. And, and you know, going to the track right now is just like, it's not even fun, you know, sitting in the lanes, sweating really bad and waiting your turn. And then hopefully nobody oils down the track and in the heat just, you know, you can tear some stuff up in the heat. So anyway, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Check you next time.